Hello and welcome to Maruti Suzuki Arena presents Blue Cheer Squad. We are here in the city of dreams, Mumbai, standing right next to Maruti Suzuki Swift. Now, in case you're wondering what's going on, let me tell you the story behind this. There is a big cricket fan in this city. His name is Kumail, and he has booked a test drive for this beauty, but he does not know. What's coming up? A big surprise for him because we have here with us the one and only Bond, Shane Bond, to give him that beautiful surprise. Shane, are you ready for the surprise? I'm ready. I hope he's a good driver, though. <laughs> I hope so too. Have you done this before? Have you surprised him? I have done this before, there? so I'm looking forward to it. Oh, so it's a new one for you as new well. New one for me too. Oh wow, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> The thrill, stunning looks, then swift. <laughs> Hi, Apparently, you're driving me around the town today. Wow! Is is this the kind of test drive that I? <laughs> yes, wow. Kumail. Welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, yeah. Just make nice sure you fantastic. drive well, all right? I, will, I like I fast, will. but it's not in the car. I will. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to let you guys have your moment. You know, I wow. have to tell you that while they were talking, Kumail was not even blinking. Like that's how surprised he was. Wow, that's that's good. That's good. That's, good. that's, good. that's a great okay. surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, a lot of fun. Likewise. Likewise. Wow. This is awesome. You can teach me about cricket in Mumbai. Awesome. I know a little bit, but you can teach me a little bit more. Huh? <laughs> awesome. For sure, for sure. For sure, I'll do my best. Awesome, mate. Awesome. awesome. Any particular place, Shane, that you have in your mind that you'd like to go to? Cruise to, probably. Well, it's World Cup time. It's Mumbai. We should go and watch some cricket, huh? You know what, actually, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a tricky question because, Shane, in Mumbai, everywhere, we can play cricket everywhere. So maybe you can drive Shane around. And okay. I'm pretty yeah, sure that somewhere yeah. on the way, you will find a game of cricket. In fact, there's a gully nearby, so we can go there. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Sounds good. I will see you there. Awesome. Thank All you. Alright, mate. Let's do this. Let's Come do on. it. I think you're driving. Oh, you're going to be <laughs> safe. I think you're going to be safe. So the first question I've got for you, this is really going to test you. Yeah. In terms of cricket then, who's your, who's your favourite Mumbai cricketer? I mean, uh, it would have to it, be, it would have to it, be. It has to be Sachin Dhanu, ah, right? Of course it had to be. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't bad, was he? Well, he's the reason that I got <laughs> this passionate about Indian cricket in the first place, right? And, and that, that's what every little boy aspires to be like Sachin Dhanu when they grow up. Yeah. So, no, I mean, oh, I feel lucky I got the chance to play against them. Amazing player. Uh, he he had his swan song at the at the World Cup in 2011 here at yeah. Mumbai, just down the road at One Caddy. Do you remember much yeah. of that, mate? The, oh, the... oh, I'll never forget that day. Emotion, the atmosphere. I mean, this entire street that we're driving on was just filled with people. I'm definitely not forgetting anytime soon. And do you reckon it'll be the same here when New Zealand win the World Cup this time? I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I don't, I'm, not, I'm not very sure whether New Zealand is winning the World Cup. No, but in all fairness, I mean, they do have a chance. But I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be that kind of emotion for sure. Gentlemen, you're walking well. How was your drive? It was good. I'm assuming yeah. safe because you've got Shane here yeah. <laughs> in a sound sound uh, yeah, position. Yeah. It's was been good awesome. Fun? All good fun. Yeah. All good, right. com good company. <laughs> good yeah, company. Makes it great. Yeah. I am very happy to know that. So, like I mentioned earlier, that uh, in Mumbai, everywhere we play cricket. So, welcome to the world of gully cricket, Shane. Yeah, it looks a little bit different than home, to be fair. It yeah, does. Very different. Mm. Would you like to tell Shane about the rules of gully cricket? Yeah, first of all, it's a really boxed in area with a lot of obstacles. So. You hit it into someone's house that's probably out because it's so small. You miss three times and you're out. Yeah, I like one it. tip, one hand. Yep. That, that would be out. It hits your leg three times. That's out. So there's no like LBW. There's no Hawkeye, obviously. Over okay. Here. So it just yep. hits your leg three times. It's out. Yep. Okay. So from this yeah. conversation, I can make out that you are interested to play some gully yeah, yeah, cricket, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. So let's get on with it. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do go. this. Let's okay. Go. Let's go. 
Where shall I hit him? Straight into the park? Okay, I'll try. What are you doing, man? He's changing the dimensions. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Is that six? Oh, I like that. I'll just keep doing that. Oh. Wow, smashed it out of the yeah. park. <laughs> Come on, give your best one. Oh. And that's a wicked. How much have I hit it into the cameraman? You make the rule, this is your belly now. <laughs> oh, oh, I went inside the house. Inside the house, that's got to be a hundred. Inside the house. Into the lounge, man. That's got to be, that's got to be 50. That's an unbelievable that's shot. Out, that's that's out. But do I get a cold drink for heading into the kitchen? I hope so. This, this hope is so. the level of competitiveness that we can see between the two of them. That was a phenomenal competition, both of you. Now, this was great fun. This is where most of the masses of Bombay play cricket. But there is also a new age version of Gully Cricket and I insist that you have to see it. It's called Turf Cricket. Let's do that. So now, next stop, Turf Cricket. Time to get back to the test drive. Awesome. And Let's I'll do catch it. you. Uh -huh. Welcome, let's go. Please, please. No, please. after you. Yeah. Come Thank on. Thank you. So, here we are at the Neville D'Souza Turf. Yeah. Kamel, please uh, take us through uh, this and tell us how different is it really to play in the gully versus playing here in the turf? There's a little bit more space to play with, so you try to make it as much more real in terms of the rules as possible. Yeah. Cool. Do we have something like this back in New Zealand? Uh, it looks sort of like indoor cricket at mm -hmm. home, where if you hit the ball into the side net, you'll get one run. You sort of run about three quarters of the way down, there's a line, so if you hit it past there, you get two into the side net. Mm -hmm. um, no, no one hand, one bounce, yeah. but there's a lot of banter and a lot of sledging in the indoor cricket. It's sort of an elevated level of that. So we saw Shane with the bat in gully cricket, and now, Shane, we are going to be handing over to you the weapon of your armory, which is the ball. And might I tell you that the opposition that you're going to have is, is, is going to be intense, it's going to be very unique in its own way. He's a very big cricket fan that you have very recently met. Oh, <laughs> you, so. Yes. I was going to say, you. there's a guy playing with the head deadly written on the back of the shirt. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about that, so I'm happy to be involved with No, it no, it's him. And <laughs> it, it's going to be very exciting to see how this is going to turn out. So let's get you that ball and let's get you guys on to this turn. Need another couple of slips though for you, huh? I don't think so. Not on the turf. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. We are loving watching Beamer, you. Beamer, Beamer, free hit. Yeah, mate, yeah. Shane, are you going easy on him? I'm going easy on me. Because my body hurts. Oh. Whoa. There we go, it's coming. <laughs> oh. Is that out? No, hit the roof. Oh. The roof is one bounce. You're making the rules up as you the go along The roof is then. one bounce, then another bounce. So that's two bounces. Look at you getting all competitive now. Are you going for an over, yep. Shane? I'm going for a Yorker. Okay. I'm going to hit his wickets. Shane. Ooh! Yes! <laughs> what do you expect? A huge round of applause for both these gentlemen. Woohoo! That's that hard work. was a lot of fun. Shane, how do you think Kamel did? How well, I, I won the warm up, uh, <laughs> but he won that one. Uh, well done, mate. That was awesome. <laughs> that was quite a workout. Yes. Huh? I thoroughly enjoyed watching this and this was a lot of good cricket. Maybe time to take a little bit of break and unwind and I know the perfect location for this. So let's go. Ooh, awesome. And 
this is the perfect spot to come and unwind. This is the Marine Drive, gentlemen. Look, it's it's one of the most popular places here. You would know about it, of course. It's also called the Queen's Necklace, by the way. When you talk about cricket chain, we are very, very close to one kid a stadium, and we know that you've spent a lot of time there. So we cannot miss talking about that iconic shot that MS Dhoni played in the 2011 World Cup. I mean, it's going to go down the history books of Team India. You know what? While talking about this, I actually have an idea. Why don't I test your memory and quiz you on that final match of World Cup 2011? Well, better that than 2019, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm sure you'll remember a few things, they're not yeah. going to be tough questions, but are you ready for it? Ready for it. Let's okay. Go. Who made the highest runs in that final match? Mahela Javed. My man Mahela, 100. Okay, but you answered first, so I'm going to give him that. I didn't realise it was a race, I knew that. I, I, I just... One I each? Did. Yeah, Mahela, I mean, I spent a lot of time as my head coach, what a man, what a player. Yeah, amazing innings he played that yeah. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so who was at the non-striker's end when Dhoni was playing that iconic shot? Yuvraj. Yuvraj. You both got yeah. that, uh, all right. And now finally tell me that after how many years did India win the World Cup in 38. 2011? Okay, you, one of the digits. 28. Is, yes. Yeah. I think it's a tie because you got the first one, you yeah. got the last one and it was tie for the second question. So, ta-da, we have people with good memory over here who remember the 2011 match. This is great. It's time for us to head to our last and final spot and of course, this place too is very well and closely related to cricket. It is the place where every Mumbaiker wants to go and play the game that we love the most. You got that right. It is the Oval Maidan and we'll catch you there. So we are here at the final spot, it's the Oval Maidan. Any guesses why this is called Oval Maidan? I've got no idea why it's called Oval Maidan. It should be called Oval Crazy Cricket with the amount of games going on here though. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is also because it's in a shape of an oval and we have come to learn that this Maidan is very special to you. Could you tell us a few words why this yeah. place is so special? I've played a lot of cricket on, on this ground. I, I am scheduled to start a new season on this ground itself uh, this weekend, taking a bunch of wickets. All right, that, so. sounds, that sounds very fun. And as you can see that there are some kids who are playing over here. Yeah. We have them here with us. They're going to ask you some questions. They belong to an organization called Magician Foundation. So let's get the kids coming. Thank you so could you much. take a brief moment and tell us what Ma Magician Foundation is all about? So, Magician India Foundation is a uh, non-profit organization. We are working here in Kolaba. Mumbai with uh, we have already worked with 2000 children and youths from last nine years and uh, currently we are coaching around 300 children here in Mumbai we have two locations one in Kulaba one in nearby this location yeah. so we work with girls and boys both together especially we more focus on sports because in India <laughs> I think cricket is very much dominated <laughs> Oh, what's the question? So what does it take to become a professional cricketer? Great question. You've got to be strong, you've got to be fit, you've got to practice hard, and you've got to believe in yourself. Strong. You can do those things, you can do anything. Not just in cricket, but in everything. What is the one cricket skill do children focus on? Yes, the one cricket skill. Well, you can focus on heaps of skills, but the most important thing, I think, is a child is to focus on having fun and even when I'm coaching with the Mumbai Indians or was coaching with the Mumbai Indians we always talked about having fun and enjoying it. All right the kids got their chance to ask questions from the bond and I'm gonna take my chance to ask one final question which is to this fan over here was this the best test drive ever for you in your life? I mean the only right answer is yes <laughs> because I mean it's been a fantastic day uh, in the swift with Shane Bond, showing him cricket in Mumbai, having all these experiences 
uh, getting to face Shane Bond. Yes. All when you book a test drive. Yeah. So, I mean, fantastic. We had a great time. We had a great evening in this amazing city of Mumbai, and we hope that you enjoyed too being here with us virtually, though. And if you're wondering why this drive on the road was even more special, let me take you through. It is because the Maruti Suzuki Swift has a next-gen K-series engine to get that adrenaline pumping. Smart Play Studio to keep you grooving through the journey. Cruise control so that you have the smoothest road experience. And my personal favorite, auto gear shift to make sure the car does most of the work and not you. And precision cut two-tone alloy wheels that make this car look super cool and extra cool. Limitless thrill, stunning looks, then swift.